So let's talk a bit about potable water. So we need to drink water in order to stay alive. But water is often found with other substances dissolved in it, and these substances can be harmful. So we end up having to treat water sometimes to make it potable. And what potable means is it needs to, is it safe for human consumption. So the first thing making water potable needs to do is reduce concentrations of microbes. So microbes can be some of the things that are harmful in water. So we need to reduce uh, any microbes that are found in the water. Secondly, we need to reduce the concentration of dissolved minerals and salt found in the water. Uh, we do not eradicate uh, we do not eradicate minerals and salts from the water completely, though. But, so that's the reason why there are there is some, maybe a little bit of salt dissolved in the water you drink, but you just can't drink salt water because the salt, the mineral content is too high. Now, with potable water, you don't need to ensure it's chemically pure. Um, that's not what it means. All it means is it's possible to drink. So there will still be stuff dissolved in it, but it will just make sure that it's either at a low enough level to not be harmful or the stuff that's dissolved in it is not harmful to humans. So does water have to be chemically pure to be possible? The answer is no, it does not. So some sources of possible water. Um, you can get pot water from fresh water. Um, that only needs sterilizing and filtering, and that's the easiest way to get it. You can also get it from seawater. Now I mentioned you can't drink seawater uh, on its own, but uh, there is an expensive process that you can use to treat seawater. Um, it's expensive because it basically large amounts of energy are needed uh, in order to take the salt out of it. In the process of taking salt out of water, it's called desalination. You can also treat wastewater, uh, but there's many steps involved in that. Um, less energy is needed to treat wastewater than desalination, though. So um, that, that is a good alternative. And wastewater is just the water that comes out either in sewage or water that's gone through the system already and needs to just be um, made, made possible to drink again. So what sources can possible water be found? Remember, it's fresh water, seawater, and wastewater. Well, uh, which source of possible water is most expensive to treat? Well, fresh water is the easiest to treat, so it's not that one. Wastewater, there's many steps in it, but it's quite a, it's not a very expensive process. But desalination of seawater is very expensive because a lot of energy is needed. So water is um, possible if it's safe for human consumption. Water does not have to be chemically pure, chemi chemically pure. By that I mean it just only consists of H2O molecules. So water that is safe for human consumption, remember it's possible water. Remember sources that possible water can be obtained from. First of all, wastewater. Second of all, seawater. And thirdly, fresh water. If water is safe for human consumption, we can say that it is potable. And that's the end of the session.